Hey guys this is ARG99 and welcome to my tutorial series. And today I am going to show you how to animate the typewriter effect in After Effects. This is going to be a very easy and quick tutorial, so be with me to the end of this video. With that being said let's get started. So once we get into After Effects, the first thing we will have to do is, create a new composition. To do that, we have to click on this create a new composition option. Now over here in the composition settings menu, we will make some changes. I prefer HD at 1080p, so I will set the width over here to 1920 pixels, and the height to 1080 pixels. This is the basic HD settings in After Effects. For the frame rate, I will keep it to 60 frames per second, and if you want you can keep it to 30 or 29 frames per second too. Keep the resolution to full, keep in mind that this is optional. Set the duration to 15 seconds, because that will be more than enough for this animation. For the background color, you can choose any color you want. Once everything is done press OK to create the composition. Now to begin with the animation, we need some texts, for that click on this horizontal type tool. Now type some words, using the tool. As you see the text is not aligned properly, to the center of the screen, so we need to align it properly first. To do that go to the align option down here. If your align option is not available, then click on this window option at the top, and make sure that the tick box is checked beside the align option. Now click on the align horizontally option to align it properly on the horizontal axis. If this warning message pops up, and your text disappears suddenly then don't worry, it occurs because your caps lock is switched on, just turn off your caps, and you should be fine again. Once done, now press on the align vertically, and you can see now that your text is properly aligned. For the text font, I have chosen Courier New, because this is the best font for the typewriter effect. I have made the text bold, and has chosen the size 200 pixels. Now moving on with the animations part. In the effects control panel, click on this down arrow to open the drop down menu. Now click on this animate option beside text and select character offset. Then click on this add option beside animator 1, select property and then click on opacity. Now reduce the opacity to 0. Your text will disappear but don't worry as you are on the right track. Now click on Range Selector 1, and you will find this Start option over there. We are going to use this option to animate keyframes for the typewriter effect. Make sure that the current time indicator is placed at the starting of the timeline. Now press on this small stopwatch icon beside Start to set your initial keyframe. Once done, drag the current time indicator to the part of the timeline where you want your animation to end. In this case I have dragged it up to a duration of 8 seconds. And now, come back to this start option, and change the percentage beside it from 0 to 100%. This will set the last keyframe, to the part of the timeline where you want the animation to end. As you can see that your animation is almost ready, but you need to do one last thing. Down below range selector 1, you will find the advanced option, click on the drop down arrow beside it, and you will find the smoothness option below it. All you have to do now, is to simply reduce the smoothness to zero. And now you are all done. Click on preview to see the animation, and if you want the animation to be fast, just go to range selector 1, and then start. Drag the last keyframe more closer to the first one. The animation will be more fast now. I added an old film green screen effect, and some typewriter sound effect to make it look more interesting, you can do it too. Anyways I hope this video will help you, let me know down in the comments if you need any help. Consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content, see you guys in another video.